Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Peyton. It is nice to meet you. It is nice to see you. All right, we've got some chaos today. This is a continuation of what started to happen in my last video where I was working on the home of my dreams for my two starter villagers, Antonio and Sherry. In the middle of working on that good old, I built Sherry's home, then I was going back to add Antonio as the roommate. I was then forced against my will to make a vacation home for a villager I did not get to choose. And um, it went a little like this. So here I am. I've, you know, given Sherry an empty home. I'm going back to get Antonio to move there. And then I was going to work on my nice little build until Nico comes rushing in. I don't know why he couldn't have waited. I obviously had a big day ahead of me. At first, he's just telling us, like, you know, the event stuff is going on. We're, and then out of nowhere, Lottie does not look good. She's not look good, man. Her tummy feels bad. I told her she needed to switch to almond milk or oat milk. She didn't listen. She didn't listen, and now she is paying the consequence. She's paying the consequence. If I have, you know, I have Tums, I have... Pepto, whatever you need, Lottie. I will I will help you feel better. It's okay. She's this thing is getting like airlifted out of here because it's so bad. But you know, it's okay. I just hope she feels better. I thought at this point they were gonna force me to do the um hospital. I thought, you know, this would be a good way of introducing that. Like, oh my goodness, we didn't have anywhere close for Lottie to go. Maybe we should build a hospital here. But I'm glad, I'm glad they didn't make me do that because it, you know, I didn't want to have to feel rushed on that one. Not that I feel rushed on this one. Um, because, you know, I did try my best to give him a good house. So we have Derwin, who, okay, it could be worse. It could be worse. He's not, you know, who I probably would have chosen for myself, but he's a cute little duck, okay? You know, he didn't do anything wrong. He didn't hurt anybody. Derwin is just... Oh, what can I say? He just really wants a vacation home for me. He must have seen all of my work, and he's just like, wow, you've built such amazing things. Now build me one. You have no say in it. I know you often time travel to different days because you don't like the options on the beach but here i am i'm the only option let's do it so he told me he wanted a smart study space which is cute makes sense he's a little a little nerdy nerdy duck so i figured okay this could be fun this could be fun we'll try and make it really cute did not plan this this is not what i had in mind when i sat down to film but you know that's what we're doing we're doing it I work here. I got to do my job. Um, it wasn't too difficult for me to pick the space like it normally is. I knew I wanted to do something small and maybe I don't I don't want to say I wanted to give him a bad one because I, I didn't. But I wanted to give him not one of my favorite ones. One that was just kind of simple because in my head, you know, whether he's my favorite favorite little duck or not. I knew I was going to make this build not overtly complicated. And, uh, you know, I actually really like how it comes out, but it's not, it's not overly complicated. So I decided to go with a big two-level home anyway, because I figured, um, we're gonna, we're gonna just treat him like any other one, anyone else. I like to do two stories, so we're gonna give him two stories. And yeah, here we go. Let's do it. Let's get into this. Let's get into this Derwin home. You know, it, it could be worse. Like, I could have been forced to do that. I could have been forced to do Linus and make him that bathroom that I don't want to make. Here we are. Smart study space. Switching into time lapse mode. We're starting on the main floor, which my goal here was to do a library. But, you know. A library that is different from the first build I ever did, which was Eloise's like reading space, which is the one everyone does. Um, at this point, I wanted to see if I could change my mind and just do a one-story home. 
but that wasn't humanly possible so i was like all right i'll stick to my my intuition i'll make this two floors let's make downstairs a library and let's make upstairs his bedroom so maybe he i don't really think this is a full functioning library i think that he runs like a little a little mini library and place that you can go and study and just have a good time you know they're studying really hard at the home, the um the school that i made studying really hard at potato prep and this is where they go to study for all of the tests that puddles assigns them and it's fine so what i knew i wanted to do here was keep everything blue because he is a cute little blue duck so we're gonna do we're doing that and i wanted it to, to kind of feel like childlike i kind of wanted to feel not like a sophisticated library because i'm about to do a huge library build on my actual island and it's going to be very like sophisticated and adult e so i wanted to make this kind of fun and you know we're doing that classic window seat thing that i just really like using those good old partition walls i really like the earth rug i think it's really fun it reminds me of like you're in like preschool like okay everyone come sit on the rug let's like listen to the story so that's kind of what i was going for there and then using the left side as the side where you actually go to sit and study the right side having a little receptionist desk where you go to check out your books and we have a big stack of books that the receptionist needs to put away is derwin the receptionist maybe I don't know if he's like the best receptionist maybe he hires outside help who knows using my new favorite item over here which is this vintage dresser i just love it it's so cute so cute i also loved this item that item was new for me too the little sh it looks like a shower curtain the curtain divider i don't end up using it in this build but wow it's so cute also you know playing around with my classic stuff like where are we putting books where are we putting magazines should we put it in aroma pot i love the aroma pot and i was also trying to decide if i wanted to have a desk down here or if i wanted to save that for upstairs i decided kind of you know saving that for upstairs making this simple just having a place where you can go and you know study and chill and read this is where whoever's reading whatever book that we're advertising today this is where they go and sit and you know pretty cool pretty cool pretty cool i also could not decide for the life of me if i wanted to have the little study artsy table be in the center or if i wanted to put something else but then once i found the block benches i decided that was perfect and that gave it a little bit more of like a kitty vibe anyway so i really liked that i really liked that a lot yeah, I don't really have too, too much to say about this one. I'm not going to lie. These are the cushions that, you know, you could spread around the carpet in case you don't want to just sit on the ground. This is the advertisement for whatever new book premiere is dropping and we're going to have the author come and read. And yeah, just trying to make it fun. Fun, kid-like, giving Derwin a nice little cozy place. Not overly complicated, but still, you know, still cute. Still has some thought in it and i love that item the little chain the paper chain garland thing oh my god just yes to who designed that thank you thank you so much i love it um i'm also adding in a bunch of clocks i just feel like when you're in a study place you're like looking at the clock you're like all right how much longer do i need to be here today maybe you're doing like sat prep even though these are like children maybe they're like prepping for some sat type test and they're like oh my god when is this prep class over can i go home luckily for derwin this is his home so if he's ever tired he can just go right upstairs and yeah this is the downstairs space here's a little slow look at it i really like it i think adding the plants was fun too i think when in doubt throw in some plants and it really does liven up the space so here is that not too big of a room for me usually i always put the room to like max size but today we're keeping it simple and then we're moving on to the bedroom which the bedroom i wanted to be a lot more i mean i think the downstairs is very kitty as well but this one i wanted to be like even more so using this 
block furniture in the primary color plus green variant just felt like yeah this is it this is this is the vibe here we wanted to give derwin a place to you know he's studying downstairs but also have a place to study on his own maybe he doesn't always want to study in the study group maybe he wants to do his own stuff up here just chill you know what i mean i love this um <laughs> this is a karaoke machine this item but i continue to use it and i will continue to use it after this um i continue to use it like it's an old-fashioned tv like how you used to have in school as a kid they'd like roll in this tv i know there's another item that literally is that but i don't have it so this is this is that throwing derwin's picture in the corner because i always put the picture and then i'm giving him some more like sciencey items as well because he just you know he's a little he's a smart boy he likes science he likes reading so we have the telescope we have the microscope we have a little mini fridge for him he's not cooking here you know but he does have some popcorn for whatever movies he's gonna watch on this old vhs player playing around with this desk i couldn't get that desk to look good so instead i decided to go with these cute cubby moments and you know figure that if he wants to study up here he's probably like laying on the floor you know what i mean so let's scatter some things around the floor scatter some like art materials some things he likes to do some things he likes to play and then if he's ever doing any hardcore studying he can go downstairs he can go down there after hours when it's closed to the public so i figured that was fine and i love to add in some good old scattered papers to pull it together i think it just really makes a room come alive adding in some wall decor nothing too crazy here i don't think i went too crazy on the walls like i usually do keeping it pretty simple i love the throwback clock putting the map putting the bulletin board other kid and school related things also some like stuffed animals because even though he thinks he's like a cool scientist he also has his stuffed animals and that's cool the autograph cards i imagine are like some famous scientists or famous authors he met Maybe people who have come and spoke at this little library. That's pretty cute, I think. And yeah, that is the bedroom. I also decided to give a little polishing action here, which I never do because I forget that it exists. But I like those little blue squiggly lines and little thought bubbles. I thought those just like add a little bit to more to the space. You'll see it a little bit more later. But here we are moving to the exterior we have a very small amount of space to work with here, so it is gonna be pretty simple. It is a blue house, he is a blue duck. I wanted to make the fossil door plate look cute, but I just didn't really like it, so we don't have it. Um, Yeah, and because this is on like a little island all by itself, I decided the palm tree was cute, it was kind of tropical. And um, here we are, just laying down some different types of path trying to figure out how can i make a path to this door even though it's not a straight line and i decided to do a little bit of a zigzag moment because i had used the zigzag um polishing effect and even though i really liked the palm tree i decided to not go in a tropical route after all i decided to just keep it simple i think it was a little bit too vibrant and i kind of wanted the blue to be the little standout but my initial thought was to make it tropical and on the rock i decided to do a little stargazing spot like this is where we go to really get the best view of the stars we're taking notes we're sitting down we're collecting star fragments it's all cool we have a ni another nice little reading spot out here with the cushions that i used inside scrapbook using some of the same items I used to just kind of make it all look a little cohesive. Again, nothing too crazy. We got scattered papers, tiny libraries. I'd go to this little library and then I gave him a little, um, I gave him a little makeover. I think changing his glasses and giving him a hat, just make him a little cuter. He's a cute little boy, you know? I was forced into doing this, but it really, I had fun, okay? I had fun. I can't be upset about it. Derwin is pretty cute. I've come around. And here is his build.
right. There you have it. I think it's cute, okay? It's cute. It's not the most groundbreaking build I've done so far, but I think it's very cute. I'm proud of myself. I'm happy with this. I'm not upset about it. I... I like Derwin, okay? Derwin just needed to change his glasses and put on a cute little beanie. And he's a cute little man, you know? He's got his cute sweater vest on. Count how many times I say cute in this video. And then Lottie's just fine. Lottie's fine. Either they have some strong medicine wherever she went, or I think she was faking it. I think she was too scared to tell us she needed a personal day, and she was like, let me fake being sick so I can go, like, take a nap. Um, and then she's thanking Nico, and first of all, what did Wardell do? I love Wardell, man of my dreams, you know this. What did he do? Except for stand here and make sure no one broke into the store. Did, were you forced into doing a vacation home? I don't think so. And Nico, Nico messed everything up. I'm sorry. Nico, I know you're learning. You're a little man trying to do your best. But I... I am the reason we're doing this whole thing, guys. I'm not gonna lie. But, you know, I got paid at least. Yeah, no, you haven't paid me. I feel like I should have gotten more than 15,000 pokey since I did not choose to do this. Um, and then she's also giving me food, which is like a very nice gesture. But I feel like you just had some like food poisoning or something. I don't know if I want to eat something right now. I know she said like... Oh, I just got this while I was out, but like, did she? I don't know about that. I don't know about that, Lottie. Um, I really assumed at this point she was gonna tell me, Oh, we need a hospital, but she still hasn't. I don't know how that like lead-in comes. Like, when, when does that happen? But I imagine it's gonna be soon. But anyway, that is where we're going to end today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. This was a little bit quicker of a build compared to the more recent ones I've been doing. And, uh, yeah. You know, I didn't choose this, but I had a good time with it. I think at the end of the day, I did have a lot of fun with Derwin. I had a little bit of a kid core moment today, which is kind of not something I always do, but I really like it. I really like the blue villagers. If you've watched my streams, you know that I want to do an all blue island. So, um, you know, I really like the blue villagers. I don't think Derwin will be on my list, but... He's special, and he's here, and we're thankful for him. He's a part of the Happy Home Paradise Island, and we're we're happy he's here. If you guys like these videos, I do post every other day and stream once a week. So if you like these, I feel like subscribing is a great option for you. Let me know who the worst villager you would have to automatically build a vacation home for is. Let me know. Who would you not want to have done? I think Derwin is pretty okay. Could have been a lot worse. But I'm grateful. We had a good time. I apologize for all of the Joy-Con drift. That's why I'm going kind of crazy here. But we'll fix that. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.